Good morning, this is Gary Wales, and uh, I want to show you something. You would be considered very lucky to find an engine of this type one time. I found it twice. This is amazing. This is a Arthur Stewart three-cylinder, four-liter racing engine. And it was built in, uh, uh, here's some information, it was built by Alfred C. Stewart and Company, and he was an automobile designer, builder, and he did uh, uh, specialty things like making the Stewart Precision Carburetor. That's the one that's on it right now. This is the original Loomis carburetor, the racing carburetor, and this is the original catalog for it, believe it or not. And it is absolutely amazing. Uh, it was designed and built and was completed in 1903 for Frank Garbutz, who was a very uh, a successful uh, uh, oil magnate here in uh, the Los Angeles area. And he also was a racer. And he raced against Barney Fo Oldfield and Rickenbacker, all of the old greats. And they, they used to race it, I believe it was it set a record back in, in, in the very turn of the century uh, uh, at a mile to the minute. I think it was a 62 seconds point something or other that they set us. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. So anyhow, I had uh, got a call from a gentleman who said he had found it at a tractor sale. And he saw an ad of mine that I was looking for something like this, and I, and I g obviously jumped and bought it. And I still have the original bill of sale when I bought it. And, but again, stupidity prevailed, <laughs> and I ended up selling it, and uh, it went to a gentleman where it also has set for since 2006, so 17 years ago. And I was just thinking about it about a week ago and said, oh my God, I, what a dumb person to sell that damn thing. And that was on like on a Friday, we went to a car show and a gentleman came up to me and said, Mr. Wales, uh, did you originally own this particular engine? I said, yeah, and I'm so sorry I sold it. He said, well, you've got a second opportunity to own it again. Anyhow, we made a... Uh, 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 deal on this and I acquired it back and here it is exactly the way it was when we got it except we spent a little time Andreas and I cleaning it what's unusual about it it's, it's three cylinder four liters it's a total loss system look at this roller tappets now how old is that and look at the degree on these on this this piece here it's absolutely amazing. This is the second carburetor. The original carburetor was the racing Loomis Racing Carburetor. We have the original paperwork for it. And here shows Alfred E. Stewart and Company, automobile designers. And this is from the turn of the century. It's right here in Los Angeles, California on Santee Street. And uh, this is also, now this is the second generation carburetor. I think this would probably be the prototype one. And they're sold in London to the racing cars that were racing at Brooklands and, and the, the, the French Grand Prix and all that stuff. It's just unbelievable. Historically speaking, this is unbelievable. Anyhow, look at the plugs. Still has the original plugs for it. These are absolutely amazing amazing things and I had not once but the second opportunity the second opportunity I'm not going to lose we want to build this into a racing car again you can see come around this side that this is a total loss oil system and it's no crankcase everything is individually lubricated where it should be anyway I just want to show you that it ended up being sold in uh, 71 at the Arthur Austria Simplex garage sale. This is what it came with. The other pieces are gone. But this is what it was. So anyway, we're trying to locate bits and pieces and radiator and 
early stuff that we can put this together because it's so historically important. By the way, it's the very first purpose-built racing car in California. This is the engine.